Kia ora no mai, kiti bringa po tonga. My name's Laura and welcome to our Southern Skies for the month of October 2025. This month brings an array of meteor showers, conjunctions and fantastic events right here at Te Whatu Stadium. Let's take a look at what's happening in our beautiful Southern Skies in October. So first up, the evening sky highlight. Saturn continues to rule our night skies this month, with the ringed planet remaining visible throughout the night and into the morning hours, easily visible to the naked eye in the east just after sunset. Discovered in mid-September, there's a new comet in our evening skies known as C-2025R2 Swan. The comet is not bright enough to be seen with the naked eye, but will make a good target for astrophotography or anyone who has a telescope. If you have to spot this visitor on the west just after sunset, within the constellation of Libra. As it gets later in the month, it will eventually fade from view, so make sure you catch it early. Now finally, on the 30th of October, Mercury reaches its greatest elongation in our evening skies over in the west, making this the best night to spot the smallest planet in our solar system. So for our early rises in the mornings, Jupiter continues to shine bright and rises at around 3 a.m., so an easy find in the eastern sky. After midnight, deep sky targets like the Matoiki stars and the Andromeda galaxy are great finds in the northern sky in October. On the morning of the 22nd of October, the Orionids meteor shower peaks in our skies here in the southern hemisphere. You can expect to see anywhere between 10 to 20 meteors per hour under dark sky conditions away from our cities. If you want to try your luck at catching this cosmic light show, the best time will be between the hours of 1 a.m. until sunrise on the morning of the 22nd, just looking towards the constellation Orion in the north. So now onto our moon phases for the month. The full moon falls on the 9th of October of this month, followed by the last quarter phase or Tangaroa phases on the 14th of October. The new moon is on the 22nd of October, making the night skies around this time the darkest and best for stargazing. And finally, the first quarter phase falls on the 30th of October this month. So now on to planetary conjunctions for this month. And there's a lot. The Moon and Mashriki pair up in the early morning skies on the 11th of October, nestled close together in the morning hours just before sunrise. The Moon and Jupiter meet up before sunrise on the 14th of October in the eastern sky. On the 20th of October, our smallest planet Mercury meets our neighbouring Mars in the western sky in the evening. Three days later, on the 23rd, the Moon joins them for a triple conjunction in the sky, with the trio remaining close in the night, so one to keep an eye out for. And finally, a crescent Moon meets the bright Rahua, or Antares, on the 25th in the west after sunset. And finally, on to our other news. The third ever discovered interstellar comet, 3i-Atlas, is continuing to move through and past our solar system on its fleeting trip. With a visible tail now visible through telescopes, the comet will make its closest approach to our sun on the 31st of October, and then will begin to leave our solar system at the end of the month. Following a sold out show in 2024, Tefatu Stardome and Auckland Philharmonia are proud to announce the return of our homegrown show, Strings Under the Stars this October for a mesmerizing new musical show. Featuring a live string quartet of Auckland Philharmonia musicians and a captivating visual journey through space, the show features celestially inspired compositions by Beethoven, Debussy, Holst, and the premiere of a new piece by Wellington-based composer Keith Moss. A new live discussion series, The Space Between, returns this month, hosted by myself, Laura, in conversation with my colleague, Carol. We'll be talking about our own experiences as women in science and some of the people who inspired us along the way. So join us on Thursday, the 23rd of October at 7 p.m. to find out more. Finally, here at Tefatu Stardome, our planetarium will be closed between the 26th of October to the 2nd of November for some exciting new upgrades. This includes the latest version of state-of-the-art planetarium software and brand new projectors. So don't worry, we'll still be open to visit with our galleries, shop and telescopes all running during this time. So stay tuned to our socials for what's on and updates on what you can expect in our new planetarium. So that's our guide for October. With plenty of conjunctions, a meteor shower, it's a great month to get out under our southern night skies. Happy stargazing and we'll see you under the stars here at Tatu Stardome. Kakiki Anok.